I'm going to do this just one time. He was smiling more than a Jordan Miles t-shirt. I'm just going to skip past that, like yep. that didn't happen. Fucking goof. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I missed that. What was that about? Um, I saw the shirt, and he, and he got real upset about it. Um, he got a goofy shirt, like everybody in WWE gets a goofy shirt, except he did the whole, well, you can't do that to me, I'm black, pretty much. And I'm really trying to not sound like a dick when I say this, but that really is what it is. Everybody that they, like, forced up to the NXT roster. Uh, like, everyone gets a shitty shirt, especially as their first shirt. That's, like, the thing. Everybody gets a shitty shirt, but because, you know, the world is the way it is, and if you're of certain persuasions, you can be offended and something has to happen, and if you're of other persuasions, you can be offended and nothing happens. And then, to the best of my knowledge, to the, bi the bits and pieces that I've put together... He screenshotted private texts between himself and his bosses, himself and Triple H, himself and the merch department, himself and Vince McMahon, all over social. He screenshotted emails between him and, like, inter-office bullshit all over social media. He went on this big, gigantic tirade, big capital letters, WWE doesn't care about black people and, like, that. blah, blah. He, um, he went on Twitter with a video thing like people do in their car when they're trying to be super dramatic and he's like I fucking leave WWE don't ever call me Jordan Miles I'm, I'm calling that my slave name and I'm like mm. maybe maybe dial it down a little bit because the same night you know our brand new NXT Cruiserweight Champion which is Leo Rush comes out and he's great and you know Keith Lee comes out and has a great match and he's great and it's like me maybe, maybe it's you I'm sorry, I'm not saying that there's never been racism in WWE. I'm really not, because I can't. Kofi Kingston just had a six-month run as WWE champion. New Day have titles coming out the ass. Street Profits, any day now, are going to have titles coming out their ass. Velveteen Dream is only not the North American champion now because he's injured. Maybe it's you. <laughs> but he, yeah, basically, he got and, a and And also, everyone gets a shitty t-shirt yep. their first time. That's just but it, how it but is. It's a, like, but everyone's. It's, but it's a smile printed on a black t-shirt. Okay, well, I am I missed out on that. <laughs> it's... Uh, he debuted on the brand, and his third match on television was against the NXT champion. Third match on the brand. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Like it's 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 symptomatic of the times, but also he's a fucking moron. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. There are people on the main roster. Remember? Okay. As silly as it sounds, as silly as it sounds, Alicia Fox has been in WWE for how long? Uh, well, she's on the alumni page right now. Well, she's on the alumni page, but like two years ago. She put out on social media this big celebration thing that, that that she finally had a single piece of merch with her name on it. And it was dumb. It was some, like, little cartoon animated Fox thing because she's Alicia Fox. Ha, 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 ha. But she'd been on the main roster for, like, ten years. This guy had a cup of coffee in developmental and already had a T-shirt, and it wasn't good enough. And because we can put a trigger word attached to it, like racism or sexism or whatever phobias you want to bring up, he thought he had a case. He thought he could grab himself a couple of headlines. And now he's on this big, well, all wrestling is racist. And then he starts talking shit about Jay Lethal in ROH because he's their champion. And he's like, oh, he's, he's turned his back on his people. And I'm like, y you're an idiot, bro. Like, I don't know. I try to tiptoe around this. I really do, because it's a stupid fucking issue, and it's a really stupid fucking move. People are speculating that he's dealing with some per personal, psychological, emotional issues, and if that ends up being the case, I will have a measured amount of sympathy, but it wasn't it, it won't change what he's done. He's gone out there, he's, he's slandered his employer, he's revealed private documentation, he's walked out on a contract... Ask me on a personal level, and I said this a couple of weeks ago in an NXT review, on a personal level, I hope WWE are as petty as people say they are, and drag him through court.
me.